And when folks vote, they order what they want. And in this case, they got what they asked for. It is time for us to do what we have been doing, and that time is every day. Every day it is time for us to agree. Talking about the significance of the passage of time, right? The significance of the passage of time. So when you think about it, there is great significance to the passage of time. I am here, standing here on the northern flank, on the eastern flank, talking about what we have in terms of the eastern flank and our NATO allies. It is a country in Europe. It exists next to another country called Russia. Russia is a bigger country. Russia is a powerful country. Russia decided to invade a smaller country called Ukraine. So basically that's wrong. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. And I haven't been to Europe. And I mean, I don't know. We must together work together to see where we are, where we are headed, where we are going and our vision for where we should be but also see it as a moment, yes, to together address the challenges. We have the ability to see what can be unburdened by what has been, and then to make the possible actually happen. What is at stake at this very moment? What is at stake this very moment are some of the guiding principles around the NATO alliance as it relates to what we need to do domestically as well as as what we need to do in terms of this issue generally. We have, as the president said, uh, reevaluated what we're doing. Based on what we've just been able to see, and because we've seen it or not, doesn't mean it hasn't happened. Stupid that rolls off that woman's tongue is just, it's it's mind-boggling, and yet it is just impressive. I mean, it's absolutely impressive. How can anybody use so many words and say so little of substance, of complete, I mean, it's just ridiculous. Anyway, hey, thanks so much for joining me here at Courageous Army. We have a great show for you today. So Joe Biden is out. I do not believe it's of his own volition. I think he was forced out. And please check out my video where we talk that very fact with Megyn Kelly. She had very similar thoughts as to what I've been thinking. But Joe Biden is out based on the letter that uh, was penned and signed by somebody and posted to X and the follow on X post where Joe Biden under his account has endorsed Kamala Harris. Well, the Trump campaign has wasted no time. They are on top of this stuff. They are all over it. I wanted you to see that little compilation of some of the ridiculous things that Kamala Harris has said in her time running for president and as vice president uh, when she was back, she was running the nomination. Before we play this Trump ad, which is absolutely on fire, it is breaking the internet. You have got to see this. And so now, without further ado, check this out. She covered up Joe's obvious mental decline. Our president is in good shape, in good health. Tireless, vibrant, and I have no doubt about the strength of the work that we have done. But Kamala knew Joe couldn't do the job, so she did it. Look what she got done. A border invasion, runaway inflation, the American dream dead. They created this mess. They know Kamala owns this failed record. Make America Great Again Inc. is responsible for the content of this advertising. Well, it's been in the making for some time now. The Democrats have been in derision ever since the debate, actually before the debate, because the debate was a setup. Let's be honest. The debate was an absolute setup of Joe Biden to make him fail, So that and but make him fail early enough that they had time being they being the Democrat elites to exit him out of the race. Now they might be stuck with Kamala Harris because Obama, Hakeem Jeffries and Schumer have not yet endorsed Kamala because she was never their plan. No, the Democrat elites wanted to soft pedal this right into an open convention quietly, discreetly. Their goal was for Joe Biden to step down when they approached him the first time was for him to step down quietly and they could just quietly go into an open convention, manipulate the delegates, and they would get to pick their own nominee without any Democrat process, without any voter involvement. But because Joe Biden hates Obama, 
just like Obama hates Biden. And Biden has been seething behind the scenes. He has been sequestered in his Delaware home and told to shut up and sit down like a little dunce in the corner. And he is angry. And that's why I believe you had the letter that was posted to X, basically Joe Biden supposedly saying that he's withdrawing from the race, followed minutes later by a Pope, but nothing about Kamala other than thanks for her service followed very closely a few minutes later by a post where he openly endorses Kamala. The reason for that is because it was a stick in the eye of Obama, because Obama now does not get to quietly walk into his open convention and pick the candidate that the Democrat elites want. No, now they have a Kamala Harris who was already talking about being angry about possibly being passed over for a Gavin Newsom or somebody else. Now she is front and center, endorsed by Biden. And remember, now those who, have, who wanted Biden to stay in have lined up and endorsed Kamala along with him, with two notable additions, Nancy Pelosi and Hillary Clinton. That's a question I have yet to answer. I don't know why they have aligned themselves against Obama. I'm not sure on that one. But Obama has not endorsed Kamala. The donors have not endorsed, endorsed Kamala. Schumer and Hakeem Jeffries have not endorsed Kamala. So we've got what's shaping up to be a Democrat continuance of the Civil War. But I wanted you to see that Trump ad because it's absolutely spot on. That com coupled with a, Kamala's continuous cackling and stupid statements. And remember how she was taken down in the debate by Tulsi Gabbard uh, four years ago in 2020 when Gabbard absolutely owned her over her record as AG and, and, and prosecutor. She absolutely owned her for putting black men in prison, holding them beyond their sentence date, withholding exculpatory evidence. Kamala Harris is dirty and, and her record is ugly, which is why, check out our video, RFK Jr. has said she's borderline unelectable. So I wanted you to see that ad because that ad is dope and realize that if Kamala is their nominee, there will be ad after ad after ad like that. Trump has raised the money to be able to go after her with ads that are funny, but yet hit home because people do not want Kamala Harris as president. There's plenty of people who will vote blue no matter who, but those in the know didn't want her. I would like to know what you think. What do you think about that Trump ad? What do you think about this entire ridiculous sham of a Democrat process on the Democrat side? They have thrown democracy out. They have their own words. They have trampled on democracy to get the candidate of the there being the elite's choice. What do you think? Please smash that like button, subscribe. Let us know how we're doing in the comments. If you would like to support the channel more deeply, please do so by becoming a member on YouTube. If you can't financially support us, I totally understand. Please become part of our core team. And remember, Courageous Army, we have got a job to do. We've got a republic to save, which means we've got to donate, got to volunteer. We've got to get into the arena of ideas. And finally, we've got to drag 15 people, 15 people, no, no less, with us to vote in November. Let's make this too big to rig. Remember, God is with us and he is good. It'll all be good in the end. It's not yet good, man. It's not yet the end.